Welcome back everybody. You're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I have a good video for you. Like always, they're all good videos. I'll be putting a fine orange peel style texture on the ceiling. The method used is a drywall hopper, hopper spray gun. You use these for remodel mostly. Now, if you were gonna do an entire house, you're best off hiring a drywall company that will pull up with a texture truck, or you can uh, possibly rent a bigger machine. You push it around like a shopping cart, and you fill it up with your texture, and you spray it on the ceiling. So yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna show you how I do it. Uh, all the methods involve a human being spraying and manipulating a device to get it to stick to the ceiling. I have two hoppers. I'm actually gonna go throw this one out right now. And actually, I might uh, keep part of it. It's a cobalt, wouldn't you know? I was on a job and I did not have my good hopper. Ran into Lowe's, grabbed one off the shelf. Big mistake. So the air control on this is with this little valve here. So it's, it's a very awkward thing when you're trying to hold it like this and you're working it and you're working it and you wanna control the air and the flow of the joint compound. Well, you can't do that. This here, you open this up and the air just starts flowing. This keeps going, draining your tank. Most people don't bring a gigantic 80 gallon compressor to their job site to do drywall repairs. So that's why this one is a big no-no. Always check to see if the one that you're gonna buy has this valve on it right there. Now this one here, my good one, Old Faithful. Can't believe it. Found this one and it was actually cleaned. <laughs> Somehow I cleaned it the last time I did drywall, which is not normal. You just plug your air hose in there and this handle controls the airflow and the flow of the joint compound. Now I keep saying joint compound, it, it's texture. It's multiple uses for this, for the joint compound. I'm, I'm not gonna mask anything off. I've got a sheet of drywall. I'm gonna move around and cover up the windows. I still have not sanded the walls on purpose because I knew there would be some overspray and with that machine, just right across it and it goes right away, or you can just scrape it right off. But this is the tool that I would recommend. I've had this for over a decade. It's been through some abuse. I just have some standard joint compound here. I'm gonna put all of it in that bucket. Then I'm gonna put a bunch of water in that bucket and I'm gonna mix it up really thin. I'll show you how thin in just a second. So joint compound comes in a bag inside a box.
Ceiling is textured. I don't know how it's cool. I don't know how it's showing up on camera. Down here looks amazing. Perfect texture for ceiling. You won't even notice it. That's the, the whole point of what you do to a ceiling is just, no one notices anything on the ceiling. You might I've got some bright ass lights over there. I have these lights, they're pointed across the ceiling, across the ceiling, which you will never have this lighting condition ever again. And it looks amazing. So once the normal lights are on, which are just these two down lights, and maybe a lamp, you're never gonna have anything that cascades across, across like those lights do. So I'm very, very happy with this. Oh, whoa. All right, we're gonna do this, this last talk without my wireless microphone. They're both dead, the transmitter and the receiver. Paula's gonna join me, she's covered in grass. Cock gun hats, I got navy blue and white. That's the only color I can find. There's a trucker hat shortage. Well, they are in stock now. Link will be in the description for that. Uh, you can always get the shirts. So texture, I don't know, I think, think everything that you talk about on social media is very, uh, people take it real serious. People take their wall and ceiling texture as serious as they take their politics. It's kind of crazy. Less than 24 hours from when you watch this, there'll be a new video out. And it will show, I'm not sure what it is. I believe uh, it shows it all dry. Uh, it, it's still transparent, so you can still see some of the different shades coming to get us. <laughs> the texture police are here. We're going to do something extra, extra controversial in tomorrow's video regarding texture. You don't want to miss the comments about the orange peel on the ceiling in this video. So go check them out. Keep in mind, people that are passionate about wall and ceiling texture, they're a little quirky. So take take it with a grain of salt what you read down below. What's your favorite wall texture? You probably don't even know what wall texture is. Subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss tomorrow's video, in the next day's video, in the next day's video, and beyond. Goodbye.